Two of Cups is here. And then Page of Swords. The Hangman is here. They kind of wanted to pop out first, but I kind of put it back in and, you know, kept shuffling the cards. The Hangman is here. So it's like whoever this person is, they're um, somebody that wants to partner up with you, two of cups. They want to work with you. Um, they've been watching you, observing you. This person is stuck on you. The hangman is here. Yeah, it's like they're obsessed. They have an obsession over you. And they are obsessed with... Um, yeah, watching you. And it's like, they want to partner up with you. They want to work with you. But it's like, they feel stuck. Yeah. It's like, since they had gained truth and clarity, so they could have gained the truth about something, and now they're just stuck. This hangman talks about being enlightened, so they could have gotten enlightened. And they had them found out truth and clarity. God came in and gave them the truth. They could have found out that you were, you know, they found out watching that you were there to a cup, somebody that they're supposed to be working with, partnering up with. And ever since then, this person had them been obsessed. And they're stuck on you. Because they know the truth. Yeah, five of wands is here. It could have been a lot of conflict going on. Could have been somebody that was competing with this person because they knew that you and them were, um... Two of Cups energy, like supposed to partner up, work together. Y'all would um, exchange cup of emotions for each other. So some type of conflict went on in, um, because the truth was revealed. Yeah. Page of Cups popped out with a lot. So it's like, it was a lot of competition going on because they knew this person was secretly admiring you. Somebody else could have been secretly admiring you too. So they were secretly in competition with this person that is your two of cups. This person was watching you and found out you and them were, you know, two of cups energies. And they've been stuck on you ever since. Yeah, they, they, they can't get you out of their head. Nine of swords is here. They can't stop dreaming about you. It's like they're stressed out. Yeah, King of Cups is here. They're stressed out because they're in love with you. And then they want to commit to you. Queen of Pentacles is here. They look at you as someone that's very honest, very loyal. And um, this person could want to marry you and they're in love with you. Yeah. They, they, this person trusts you. With this Queen of Pentacles, you're someone that's very loyal. You're someone that's very honest, very grounded, someone that's stable, a business type of person, um, money oriented, business oriented, someone that's very nurturing and, um, you know, giving, very kind hearted. This person is in love with you. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person know who you are to them. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. And this person cannot get you out of their head. It's stressing them out. This Ten of Pentacles talks about, you know, building a legacy, creating generational wealth. And this person see you in this Queen of Pentacles energy, but also at the Ten of Pentacles by yourself. So it's like you could be sitting in your Ten of Pentacles by yourself, creating generational wealth. 
and this is somebody that's in love with you that you're supposed to be partnering up with to build the Ten of Pentacles. But it's like, you're doing it by yourself. And it's like, this person is in an energy where they're overwhelmed with the truth. Yeah, Eight of Wands is here. It's like a lot of stuff had took off or, you know, it's something is coming toward you quick. Or this person could, you know, be coming toward you quick. Eight of Wands. It's like quick forward movement, or this could be you going toward something quick. Yeah, you're manifesting with this musician card. You're very creative, and you like go after whatever, you know, quick after whatever you want to create. You have control of your own life with this musician being here, your own path, and that's how you're able to manifest. Yeah, you're sitting in your Ten of Pentacles. You're creating generational wealth by yourself and you're supposed to be creating it with this person, but they're sitting back watching you. They're overwhelmed and they're stuck. They could be going through some type of conflict and it's stressing them out on top of them being in love with you. They could have gotten wrapped up in some type of situation. Yeah, Tower is here. They're sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices or, you know, going through some type of drastic change. And this is going on um, unbeknownst to you. You don't know. You're sitting in your Ten of Pentacles. You're someone that's at the Queen of Pentacles, you know, focusing on your money right now. This person is in their emotions. This person is stressed out. This person is going through conflict. And um, they ended up getting wrapped up in some type of situation. Could have been with somebody that's very toxic. And they ended up finding the truth about this person. And now it's like they're going through conflict, stressed out, on top of being in love with you. So it's like they're watching you manifest. They're seeing things coming in quick for you. And they're going through a drastic change. Tower moments. Watching you. Yeah, they see you going towards a whole nother path. The food card is here. Or you went in a whole nother direction. You went through a drastic change. Yeah, and start being a musician of your own life, manifesting, having creativity and foresight of what you want out of life. And you start building on that, focusing on that, being dedicated and committed to that. And that's why you're sitting in your Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to take a leap of faith towards you. The fool card is here. Yeah, but they're nervous. Nine of Wands is here. They could be feeling some type of guilt. They could have went through something over and over again, and um, they could be dealing with abandonment issues. It could be one of those, or it could be all the, you know, one of those or all the above. They could be feeling guilty about something. Seven of Pentacles is here. Yeah. They're feeling guilty about something that they could have invested in. Because the Seven of Pentacles talks about investing time, money, energy building on something they could be in um feeling nervous or guilty about investing in something and they didn't get anything out of it and they could have invested a lot of time money and energy in a situation and it like they kept going through the same thing over and over again and they didn't get anything this person is guarded this person is nervous and they're feeling guilty about something The reason why it's like whatever they were investing in for so long and not getting anything out of it, this person was dealing with some type of abandonment issues. And they needed to balance their emotions out to be able to express themselves properly. Yeah, judgment is here. They ended up going through some type of karma for whatever whatever they had whatever they hadn't invested in. And they weren't getting anything out of it. It just brought them under judgment. And that was it. The hair fine is here. Yeah. They're under judgment for, you know, committing to something. They could have went into a commitment or something like that. Or were committed to the wrong things. Yeah. So judgment... The hair fine and will of fortune. Yeah. 
this person had made a final call. It's like a final decision also is what I'm getting. They want to commit to you. They want this wheel of fortune with you. They want to build, you know, the Ten of Pentacles with you. They want to... Yeah, they know what... It's like they know that you and them are destined to be together. And with this Two of Pentacles... I'll get ready to say Two of Pentacles. But with this hair fire energy holding up two, it's like they know it's only for you and them. And it makes them nervous. Yeah, this person wants to balance this situation out. It makes them nervous, though. Yeah, they want to balance the situation out. And it's like they want harmony with you. They want to start a relationship with you, but this person is nervous. Four of Wands and Three of Wands. Yeah, they've made a decision that they want to have a relationship with you with this Four of Wands. Build a stable foundation with you. And then Ten of Swords is here. And Four of Swords. This person could be isolated, have been in isolation away from you because um, they could have gotten betrayed. They could have been backstabbed by multiple people. And um, they've just been in isolation. They've been in solitude. You could have went through this as well, being backstabbed by multiple people. And you have been in isolation and in solitude. Recharging your energy. Cleansing yourself. Healing from different stuff you had them went through. Rehabilitating. Reevaluating life. And um, yeah, it's like this person needed to heal. You needed to heal. You went through some type of betrayal around different people that you were attached to, and this person did too. Queen of Swords. Yeah, it was, you hadn't cut off a lot of people, spoke the truth to them because they no longer serve purpose in your life. And then Page of Pentacles. And you started looking at life, you know, on another level. You start looking at things differently. Looking at people differently. Seven of Wands and then Three of Cups. Yeah, something backfired though. Seven of Wands and Three of Cups, it talks about blockages. You could have realized, this person could have realized some friends had blocked them off, created blockages for them. Yeah, they feel betrayed. This could have been a group of friends with this Three of Cups and Seven of Wands that were creating blockages for this person so they could be isolated away from you. And they feel betrayed. They feel backstabbed. These are people that did um, malicious stuff because they knew this person had feelings for you. And it's like they knew this person would come towards you and be abundant. And they didn't want that for that person. Yeah, it's like they, they found out that you and this person were supposed to partner up and work together. And um, they wanted to have control over this person's investments. And they went through, you know, judgment. If they, like, took advice from um different people with this hair fine and then judgment being here they went through karma because it's like this person could have knew what they were destined to do and they listened to these friends and different stuff backfire onto them and they're realizing that they needed to block these friends out these friends were creating blockages for them yeah page of cups And then the hermit card is here. Yeah, this person has been in isolation. They, they've got like been um, in hermit mode. They they ghosted a lot of people. And they were sitting back um, wanting to apologize to you for ghosting you. 
Yeah. This person ghosted you because they were secretly attracted to you, admiring you. And it's like, as they ghosted you, Page of Cups and the Hermit card, they've been sitting back watching you at the Page of Swords. They're going to find out the truth and they're, you know, they feel stuck on you. But yeah, they want to apologize for ghosting you. They could have been trying to keep different people blocked off from you. Yeah. Two of Wands is here. And Knight of Swords. Yeah. Knight of Swords and a Star Card is here in Two of Wands. Excuse me. So it's like... Yeah. Somebody is mad because... um. Whatever they planned out for you, it backfired, and they didn't know that you were someone that's divinely protected with this star card and king of, uh, I mean, knight of swords. This is someone that's very angry because of your divine protectance. Everything that they sent to you, it backfired, and it could have been a group of their friends who did this to you. People that they, you know, were close to, and they kicked it, kicked it around or went on a norm. Everything backfired onto them, and they realized that their friends were the one who was creating blockages to keep them isolated away from you. Yeah. These are people that planned this out to have you and this person separated from each other at a stalemate, not knowing which way to go. Yeah, justice is here. But it's like you brought in justice for yourself. Whatever that happened in justice to you because of these friends of this person's justice is being served. You didn't do anything to these people. These are just people that's conflicted, toxic, and they're angry and it doesn't have anything to do with you. Ace of Cups is here. They were angry because this person is in love with you. Ace of Cups, angry because this person, you know, chose their self, started taking care of their self and finally showing their self some love. And that angered different people that wanted to create blockages for this person. They were already creating blockages for this person. It's like once this person started loving their self more, they started bringing in justice for their self and started noticing. And that anger, people. Yeah, the lovers is here. Yeah, they angered this part. It angered people because you and this person have a deep connection. It's like whatever they secretly wanted to do to you, or they did to try to create blockages for you and this person. It made this person obsessed with you. It made this person more um, stuck on you, wanting to watch you. And they could have thought they were going to create blockages to make this person not, you know, be attracted to you, not want to. You know, watch you, but whatever took place, it made this person more obsessed. It made this person heart chakra open up. It made this person stressed out from whatever conflict that you were going through or whatever, you know, people were trying to send at you. It's like everything backfired. Whatever was sent out meant to, you know, be sent to you, it was sent out to this person that was watching you and the people that they were attached to that were creating blockages for them. Trying to create blockages for you. Yeah. These are people that are mad because you're protected and you're someone that's healed. You're a healer. You've balanced out different stuff that hadn't took place throughout your life. These are people that did not know you. <clears throat> yeah. Seven of Cups. These are people that were confused. They created illusions and confusions around their self. And it's like they confuse their self trying to confuse you and this person. The more and more they try to confuse this person and confuse you, the more and more this person was obsessed with you. The more and more you started manifesting and focusing on whatever it is you want out of life and building your generational wealth. Focusing on your future. And these are people that were sending conflict to their self. It's like... These are people that honestly brought truth and clarity to this King of Cups. This person that's in love with you. You don't have to do anything because you don't know these people. 
they expose their self in front of this person that's in love with you. Wow. Yeah, for being jealous and envious. Five of swords. Haters. Wanting to sabotage you and this person for no apparent reason. All because y'all have a deep connection. The lovers is here. Yeah, they're confused. They're, they're sitting back confused trying to figure out how is this person in love with you. How do you and this person have a deep connection? Yeah, they confused their self thinking that they could um have this person detached from you emotionally. They could Yeah, these are people that they they're confused. They confuse their self. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles is here. These are people that wanted to distract this person. They figure if they throw distractions in this person way, they would detach from you emotionally. They wouldn't have any emotions for you. But this person, it, this person was stuck on you. After they found out the truth, it was like no matter what conflict was sent to them, they, they couldn't get you out of their head. They were just stuck watching you, wanting to partner up with you and work. They knew the truth. They knew they know who you are to them. Wow. Yeah, ten, ten of cups. They look at you as their ultimate happiness. Yeah, this person loves you unconditionally. They look at you as someone that loves unconditionally. The moon card is here. And then king of swords. Yeah. But it's like this person is hiding that. They don't want you to know, but it's like other people that are attached to them, they know. This person has been hiding their emotions with this King of Swords and then the Moon card being here. They're in this energy as if they don't care. They don't have any emotions. They're detached. But whatever emotions that they have, they're keeping it a secret. Because they've had these emotions for you for a long time, but they didn't think that you would know. Yeah, three of swords is here. This has this person depressed and stressed out. Yeah, and they're keeping that hidden. Six of pentacles is here. They look at you as someone that's very equal, very balanced, equal give and take. Yeah, they're heartbroken. Ten of Wands in the reverse. It's like they're tired of being weighed down with a lot of pressure. They're tired of feeling burdened. Um, yeah, they want to give you something. Six of Pentacles and then Ten of Wands in the reverse. So it's like whatever emotions that this person is hiding, they want to speak the truth to you. King of Swords and then the Moon card is here. They don't want to keep being weighed down with whatever um, burdens or baggage that they have been keeping hidden. They want to balance this situation out. Six of Cups is here. And Six of Pentacles. So they want to balance out whatever took place in the past. Yeah, so they can move forward. The Chariot is here. Because they feel stuck. They feel in that, you know, they feel stuck in the hangman position. It's like they want to move forward with this chariot. Yeah, and they want to, you know, collaborate with you or build something or work with you on something with this three of pentacles. Yeah, eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This person needed to work on their self. That's why they could have been in this hangman position uh, feeling stuck watching you. Because they needed to work on their self. This person could have had some type of addictions attached to them. And that's what was keeping them stuck just watching you. With this devil card being here in the hangman and then ace of swords. This is stuff that they needed to detach from. And they found out the truth as they were sitting back watching you. That they were stuck around toxicity. Conflict. 
stuff that was just stressing them out. And they needed to work on their self. Eight of Pentacles is here. Yeah. And stand up and lead their own life. King of Wands. Stand up in their own confidence. And go after whatever it is that they want out of life. And Five of Cups is here. Yeah, this person is attracted to you and it's like they're in regret. They're missing you. They feel ashamed and embarrassed because they have hid um, these emotions for you. Yeah, this person got a lot of passion for you. And um, this person is missing you. Yeah, the Sun card is here and Knight of Wands is here. <laughs> yeah. It's like you make this person happy. This person wants to... I know a lot of people will say that they, they can't have kids or, you know, stuff like that. But this resonates with some and some it don't. This person wants to have a child with you with this sun card being here. And this, this person, this woman is holding a child. This, this card talks about being happy, content, childbirth, fertility, things like that. And then Knight of Wands. This person wants to come in. They have a lot of passion for you. Then High Priestess, and then Seven. Yeah. This person wants to have a child with you. Seven of Swords, and then High Priestess is here. This is something that's hidden, and it's like, this person possibly don't even want you to know. They're trying to strategize something. Because they feel like they're going to be rejected. Four of Cups is here. And then six of swords. It's because you distance yourself from this person. It's like you you were divinely guided to sail away to calmer waters and distance yourself from things that no longer serve purpose. So it's like they feel distant from you. And they feel you getting away or something like that. Or they they feel distant. So this person is trying to strategize how can they come towards you. Yeah. Yeah, Queen of Wands is here because they're attracted to you. You're attracting a lot of attention right now. And um, it's because of the energy that you're walking in. You're a leader, someone that's very confident. And you're minding your business, going after whatever it is you want out of life. And this person feels distant from you. And then Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. They feel like you just walked away and did not look back. And that's why they're watching you. And they've been overwhelmed since they hadn't found out the truth. Who you are to them. 